Before Israel, 1948, it was Palestine. No, it actually wasn't. Actually was. My name is Hamza, I'm 20 years old, and I was the person he responded to in that video. In fact, there has never been a nation in that area of the world known as Palestine. For the record, I never claimed that there was an independent state or nation of Palestine immediately before 1948. I said before Israel, there was Palestine which there was. Your argument is invalid when you realize that this was the case for the majority of the Ottoman territories after World War I. Syria, Lebanon, Jordan. Are you gonna tell me that there was never an officially UN recognized state of Lebanon in the past, so now the country has no validity? That somehow the Lebanese don't have the right to self-determination? We were all one region, greater Syria. But there were sub-regional identities that made distinctions between different groups based on culture, ethnicity, religion, and more. In fact, the history of the Palestinians is especially unique as archaeological evidence shows a direct connection to the ancient Philistines over 3,000 years ago. The region became known as Palestine, referring to the Philistines, which was a part of Greece 600 years before the Romans even set foot in the region. You're claiming there was no Palestinian identity or struggle for independence, which is just simply false. In fact, one of the most famous accounts of Palestinian national identity is Zahir al Omar. He was a governor of Ottoman Palestine who led a Palestinian national movement against the Ottomans in the 18th century. And he won. He ruled over an autonomous de facto Palestinian state within the Ottoman Empire for over 50 years until his death in 1775. We see another example of this in 1936 with a nationalist uprising literally called the Great Palestinian Revolt against the British. The Palestinian history is long, it's rich, and it's very well documented. There's a deliberate destruction of Palestinian history by people like you, but no matter how hard you try, you cannot rewrite history. And the first time it was ever divided up and tried to make into a nation, that was not Palestine. You claim that the British Empire never divided up that land and called it Palestine, but they literally did. Historical Palestine fell to the borders of mandatory Palestine, same with other Ottoman territories under British and French mandates. In fact, the British also promised the Palestinians the right to self-determination and an independent Palestinian state under those borders. So what you're saying is simply false. Even though Palestine is never mentioned in the Quran. Also, I really have no idea why you brought up the Quran. Is it because I'm Muslim? This is not a religious issue. I have a right to Palestine as a Palestinian, as an indigenous person to the land, because my ancestry is in Palestine not because I'm Muslim. You make so many oversimplifications and leaps in logic that most points aren't even worth arguing because they're moot and they contradict each other. My ancestors come from Palestine. My grandfather was born in Palestine, yet he is denied the right to live there. My culture is made up of the diverse peoples that inhabited the region for over 3,000 years. In 1948, 750,000 Palestinians were displaced and hundreds of villages were destroyed. And the Palestinians should be thankful the Israelis let them live there. Somebody breaks into your house, they unalive your family, and they force you to live in the basement under subhuman conditions. They're in control of your electricity, your food, your water, and you say that we should be grateful? Get off of TikTok and go read a book. Here are some personal recommendations of what you should read. Palestine, a 4,000 year history by Noor Masallah. Palestinian identity, the construction of modern national consciousness by Rashid Khalidi. 10 Myths About Israel by Ilan Pape. The Ethnic Cleansing of Palestine by Ilan Pape. And The Question of Palestine by Edward Said. These are just to name a few. There are many more out there. I suggest you pick one of these books up, give it a read, maybe you'll learn something. Thanks for watching, and from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, inshallah.